Hello, beloved. It's me, Robin. Robin Hallett, intuitive healer and light sparkler at RobinHallett.com. And this is Tea with Robin. On today's episode, sometimes you gotta break down to break through. Let's talk about you evolving on your journey, especially in this time now. Our inspiration this week is about doing things differently. Let's apply the big rejuge to lots of areas in our lives and see what happens. It's going to be fun. And we'll have a letter from hashtag mixed media artist. All this and more. Come grab a cup of yum yum and meet me here. Well, hello there, beautiful and amazing friend. This is me, Robin. Welcome back to the podcast, Tea with Robin, episode 86. And if it's your first time here, hello. I'm super glad you're here today and so happy that you were led to have a listen. Hope you love it. Well, my friend, how is the weather in your heart today? Are you being kind? Are you being sweet? Are you allowing space for your feelings to be here? because there can be some feelings here, right? You don't always have to be strong, do you? I hope so. I hope you know that, and I hope you are being super sweet to you. Over here, uh, honestly, I gotta say, I am just feeling super excited, super grateful. Just finished um, this morning's Instagram Live, uh, which I call Morning Magic, and it was a phenomenal session. I'm recording this on the 24th of April in case any of you like to go back through the YouTubes and hear them again. Wow, wow, wow. So I, I'm i just feeling fantastic. So lush and green in my heart. <laughs> that is the color of the heart chakra. Feeling super lush and green and super alive even now in this time. And we'll get into that a little bit more coming up. Um, I also have some amazing messages for you from Spirit today. I've been practicing channeling a bit more freely on those morning lives, and it's been such a joy. So I wanted to share some of those messages with you as well. Made some notes here to share with you coming up. But first... Did you grab a cup of yum yum? (laughs) Wait, I gotta go get mine. I see it. It's too far to reach. (laughs) Man. (laughs) Okay, here I am. Here's to us. Here is to the amazing job we're doing. Holding our hearts, riding in a space as much as we can of joy and peace and allowing what wants to be here um, to be here. I happen to think you are amazing, and I am so glad we are on this journey together. Cheers. Mm. Yes, cheers, 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 cheers. And, you know, just wow. So this time, I uh, I know in my, in my state, I'm in Illinois, I just heard that our governor asked for another month of I forget what we're called, (laughs) quarantine in place. (laughs) Um, I have watched way too many zombie movies in my life, read way too many Stephen King books, way too many dystopian novels, fantasy novels, um, (laughs) too much science fiction, and actually can't get enough. Uh, But, you know, it's so funny because (laughs) now that we're here in this time, there are moments where it's like, I I wish we, I can't always remember what we're calling it, but I I can tell you what Stephen King would have said, you know, like that. So, uh, yeah, Um, so interesting. But I just, we just heard that we'll be another month. And, you know, it's one of those times where, and probably you too. Now, I know some states are really starting to buck this thing. And um, how is it for you guys overseas, you know? I'm listening along as much as I can, but I also try not to watch the news a ton. So it's an interesting challenge, you know. 
I've got my favorite places to get updated where I know they're not going to also try and scare the bejesus out of me. You know, it's just wild. But for me, I'm going up and down, in and out, you know, holding my heart, allowing myself to breathe, to exhale, to acclimate, to acclimate. And um, like I saw Brene Brown post this week that stop saying we want to get back to normal. (laughs) Stop saying you want to get back to normal. I think we all know what we mean by saying we want to go back to normal, you know, but I get what she was saying. What she's saying is, you know, the way it was before wasn't really working for a lot of us. And that's the invitation today is just to sit with as you're adjusting in this time, as you're doing your best to Um, rest and acclimate. You're not just treading water constantly out in the middle of the ocean. I hope you know that it's okay to allow yourself a life raft (laughs) to come. This analogy, I don't know why I'm laughing, but it's a it's a really good analogy to allow yourself to have a flotation device with you and let yourself rest. In fact, let's do that together right now. Okay, did you really do it or did you fake do it? (laughs) Did you keep on doing whatever you're doing while you're listening to me at the same time? (laughs) Let's do it again. (sighs) Yeah, I felt that all the way through this time. You can rest. You can let yourself rest. You can let yourself rest. There is something to that as you allow yourself to acclimate, as you hear the news, as you hear the projected numbers, as you hear whatever you're hearing, if you feel any energy that is not, um, you know, that's, you have to brace yourself a little bit. Never forget that your body is speaking to your nervous system and your nervous system is speaking to your brain, you know, and uh, your energy centers are being informed and anywhere you decide to do a relaxation or an ease move or on any level, it's going to help all of you, your whole system take a beat. And I, I think that's important. It's really important. This can be still a time of your unfolding into such an amazing state of grace and ease and um, new, new things you've always wanted can begin to, um, I should probably say it continue to come in for you now, right? Because things have already shifted for you in a good way. I'm imagining there has been some openings for you, right? Um, I know for me as well, that is the case. And if you think about our journey throughout our lives, every time we evolved, every time there was a transformation, Every time there was a huge or a small shift in our awareness, in our practice, in our um, lives, you know, think about when you fell in love, when you met somebody, when you took that new job, when you graduated college, when you got married, when a parent died or somebody you love died or the first time you heard somebody was diagnosed with cancer, you know, just imagine some times in your life where there was a huge evolution in a way. Um, There was a huge, a huge surge of awareness and change for you. There was a lot that had to shake out. There was a lot that had to let go. Right? In seventh grade, our house burnt down. I remember that so clearly. My mom worked really hard, a single mom in her new job to, she just, she worked. She had a work ethic that was really like almost scary. I mean, when you're her, I, I'm i guessing a lot of her identity came from what she did, you know, and, and, um, but she worked so hard and bought this sweet little ranch 
house in Elk Grove Village. Anyone from Elk Grove listening or nearby? Um, We lived on Park Chester Avenue. (laughs) Sweet little ranch house. And we repainted together. We wallpapered together. um, And then we had just had brand new carpet installed and our and the house burnt down she had even had some furniture recovered and the house burnt down and you know you know what kind of labor goes into that love labor for sure but you know what kind of work goes into that and I still remember that so clearly um her it was it was devastating and then the aftermath living, you know, for several days with one outfit, you know, whatever I had on, which happened to be my gym outfit, by the way, (laughs) this horrible striped white and green on the top um, with a zipper and dark green shorts on the bottom, a one piece. That's what I had. Uh, So that's what I was wearing. And my mom too, her jammies, Everything was gone, and I remember living through that all through 7th and 8th grade, living, you know, how it is. If if you've had something like that happen, it's overnight. There's a huge, huge change, and flashing forward, though, through it, where we came out was a hugely different place, and even though we looked back and said, wow, that was so intense. There was so much learning and growth, so much learning and growth, and also things you can't really ever articulate. You know it changed you for the good. As I ponder, you know, this time now, it's one time I think about, you just don't know what the gifts are that are coming, do you? And so I get it, you know, It was the best of times, it was the worst of times, (laughs) like Dickens wrote. It can be intense, but you and I, I feel we are doing a really beautiful job. There is an unfolding happening. I'm witnessing it in everybody I'm connected to that I see or talk to on the regular, family, friends, and the people I help in healing sessions and the circles I'm offering. I see an evolution. And that comes directly from deciding you are going to weather this storm. You are going to make it. You are going to um, allow yourself to, to be breathed and to expand and contract and to be moved by this experience. We're the ones working with it and we're going to continue to rise or expand or however you like to look at that um, way of saying you're you're evolving in a beautiful way not everyone you know and I know gets that not everyone understands and especially where there is a lot of wounding where there has been a lot of challenges where there's been a lot of trauma um And the awakening process hasn't happened the same way it may have for you. Those people you know, um, they're really struggling now. They're really struggling because think about this time. It's like a constant reminder. It's like pinging the places that are still waiting to be addressed inside. Does that make sense? So you have friends that You know, if they seem extra dark right now, you know, extra heavy, extra scared. This is not a judgment at all. This is a love, a clarion call for love. For you, light workers, me, light worker, those of us who are here together listening today, um, we can be there for these friends, not in the way that takes away or is harmful or not in the way that is exhausting or um, even direct, but just by you shining your light, just by you continuing to make your way, just by you 
allowing yourself to breathe with these times, to expand and contract with this time, to allow your feelings to move, to allow your feelings to be here, to allow yourself to rest and reflect. And then, as I sometimes call it, power on again, keep going, you know, keep finding what is beautiful about this time, the unity the connection, the intimacy. There's, there are many, many pieces to this time that are would never have happened for us had we not had this happen. And I'm not just talking about like even the pollution that's clearing up and the jellyfish in the canal in Venice right now. <laughs> just so many wild things. I am literally looking out the window watching a hawk standing on my shed. This hawk has been coming to visit us in the morning lives. We also have two ducks now, by the way, I should say, named Sunny and Cher. They come to visit uh, in the mornings just before the lives happen. They stand in the garden. Sometimes they look up at the window where I'm standing and it, it, so I'm not, it's amazing, you know, to see this nature happening. And I, wow, I wonder if this hawk is building a nest here. I'm looking, there's a little piece of white fabric blowing. Hmm, that would be very exciting. I will keep you posted on that. Um, <laughs> sorry, I digress, but it's it's so cool. So I'm not just saying like the good things that are happening around with the earth, but the beautiful things that are happening for us, the intimacy, the truths we're sharing, the contact we're having with one another, the amount of um, love, the love that is going around the world. <laughs> the love is viral too, you know, the sparkles, the joy that kind of stuff. It's an amazing time. I've even been I've even been listening to number one husband as he gives tech support. He he offers help to um, he's a computer guru. That's what I call him. And in IT technical support and he writes amazing. He's creative like he makes art with code and databases and lots of other things. But I've been listening to him talk to people down in his laboratory, helping them get online still, helping them get over, get through their hurdles that they have to being seen, being on camera, um, getting the technology to work. I mean, man, is there ever healing happening for us. These edges we just... Do you ever have that where you think, well, I'm just, this is as far as I'm ever going to go because the next step is just unfathomable, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> unfathomable for me. Yet here we are. Yet here we are. Here we are. So you, my light sparkler friend, your journey now matters more than ever. And you may wonder, how am I really being of service in the world? How am I helping people? How is this even, how can I do it? Where else can you serve? That's the only question I have for you today is where else can you serve then? Because it doesn't serve any of us to fall into the fear of, oh my goodness, you know, whatever the the fear of the moment is, it doesn't help. And it's not kind to scare yourself. You need to keep going and keep sharing and keep serving. And, you know, it's, it's a way to be creative. And a lot of you are doing that. You know, you're stepping up, you're offering, you're shining, you're sharing. That's beautiful. And one way you may not have thought about is to allow yourself to break through. So if there are breakdowns that you're having, I wrote about this um, this week to the Love Posse. I shared my own breakdown story and it was powerful, but I broke through. I allowed it to come 
and I allowed it to be here. I allowed myself to cry. I allowed myself to just open up and let it out without even a, assessing why or what or how come or how did this happen. I didn't even put any of the stories on it. I just allowed the heaviness to move. And after that happened, I felt so fantastic. And I got to say, I continue to feel fantastic. And these little interesting things like my intuition is spooky good, even more good than it always, always was spooky good. But now it's like so clear. I have so much more information coming to me now from our posse, the people who ride with us, energetically speaking, the ancestors. It's good to let that stuff come through. But you know, if you can't clear out space in your heart, in your mind, in your physical space, if you can't make room, how can there be anything new here? I don't know. You know, it's just like, How can there be anything here? So as you evolve and your job is to evolve as a light sparkler, (laughs) to flow, to flow with the light, to allow the expansion and contraction of light, to remember in dark times, the light in light times to remember the dark, you know, to honor the contrast and That is you being of service. You're in your center. You're grounded. And you're doing what you need to do. And sometimes, yep, that's breaking down to break through. To allow your evolve, evolving yourself to evolve. I mean, allow yourself to evolve. We're so fascinated by the animals right now. The coyotes in the public spaces, the hawks <laughs> building nests right outside the window, the jellyfish in the canal, the dolphins in the canals, you know, they're evolving too. It's not our nature to stay in our comfortable spaces and just say, well, this is this is where I've always been. This is what I'll always do. You know, there comes a time where we want to explore those edges and go beyond them. So think about that for yourself to evolve yourself along is is very important now. And today's letter is going to talk about that a bit more. We've got a great letter coming up too. But you know, you're not doing something wrong if you have times where you're breaking down. I wrote this email. I mentioned I wrote this email this week. And I mean, that was just the gist of it was that I had a breakdown. I had been feeling a heaviness throughout the day and just kind of pushing through like we often do. You know, it takes me a few passes a few <laughs> sometimes. I don't know about you, but it does take me a few passes if I'm feeling a heaviness. You know, my a lot of times I just keep going. And the beauty of this time is there's more spaciousness now so you can stop and rest. But I got something in my eye out in the garden and that kind of brought me down to my knees trying to get the gloves off with my teeth and put my hand up to my eye and just then another big gust came and I that was it I just went down I started really started crying (laughs) I'm looking at the clock now it's two 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 twenty two seconds right there. (laughs) I love it. Um, I just went down and I cried and cried and cried. And afterward, there was such a beautiful change. I could feel it everywhere. I could feel it in me and around me. And so sometimes you don't even know if it was yours or if it was for others. You don't know. So really, it's like, why even bother assessing or analyzing? Let it what wants to come, come. Let it be, let it happen and let it do you. And then let's see what's here on the other side. So, you know, we're not crazy. (laughs) We're not doing it wrong. We're not, we're not making a mistake. We're not being weak. We're not 
failing as our light sparkly selves if we have emotion. And I will say, um, anytime I send a letter like that, I will get some responses back that are sort of not pushback, but I'll always have a bunch of unsubscribes, which is fine. But there will be people who write things trying to assess and analyze me. Um, they'll project things onto me that aren't true. And I have, I tell you about this because it's an interesting thing. A lot of people will say, I, why I'll say, why don't you start a newsletter list? Why don't you start your website? Well, well, I don't want to, you know, the pushback. Well, (laughs) I get it. And it's going to happen. So it's going to happen. People are going to say things. And you know what? They think they're being helpful. Flip it, flip the script. They think they're being helpful. The, the um, percentage of people who are actually mean spirited, rude, hurtful on purpose, whatever, you know, they're out there. I'm not saying they're not, but the majority of people who write you back or make comments, they're trying to be helpful. They think they're being helpful or they just want to connect. They just want you to see (laughs) that they're intelligent and they have wisdom and insight. They're trying to connect with you. And so for me, when I get those kind of letters now, this has really changed for me over the years. And I'm really proud of myself, actually. I don't take it personally anymore. And I really work on not being angry or hurt or um, defenses, defended, though that energy is still there. um, I feel much more capable of ignoring certain things or responding in a way that kind of puts the energy back in its place. You know, it's okay. But don't hold your light back because you're worried about pushback. It will, it's going to come, you will get it. And, and, you know, it'll be more because you're expecting it. Actually, Um, I wasn't even trying to make that point. But law of attraction and all that, you will get pushback, if you're worried about it, especially. But the majority of people wrote to thank me. And appreciated the breakthrough for themselves too. And that's the thing is just, can we let ourselves break through? And the way we do that best is we allow ourselves to have it. If you have feelings, let them be. If you have upset, bring it out. Get out your art journal and fill up a page with words and paint over it. Paint over it and see what words want to stay exposed. Sometimes such beauty can come out of your dedication to your journey. I tell you, it is amazing. A friend wrote me after I sent that email and I asked her permission. um, And she said, you know, your, your email brought me to tears. She said, I started out feeling so good and the day was so beautiful and somehow... By the nighttime, it felt the exact opposite. And no matter what I did, I couldn't bring my vibration up. And I went to bed feeling like I failed. But today, my faith is restored. And I see that blessings come in very strange ways. And I thank you for your encouragement. It's greatly appreciated. We don't have to try to bring our vibration up. And we haven't failed. But that's the old story, is it not? We have to help ourselves see that if something's going wrong, it's okay to rest. (laughs) Now there are three red cardinals chasing each other around outside the window here. It is so funny. I know it's mating season, so those are all the males. So interesting. I'm so enjoying all the nature around. (laughs) So we haven't failed. We continue to evolve and be self and to reveal the light that was always there, the awesome sauce that was always there. And that's the message of our ancestors is besides we're right with you, we're right here with you. Um, 
there's such an excitement and a joy because what was possible for them in their time it just seems like light years behind where we are now in terms of our evolution. And there's so much love and encouragement for us to go for it. So all those edges you have, and I know there's a lot, I have a lot too, all those fearful things, all those stories around lack or scarcity or your frustration with that one friend, you know, just all of us have these little edges. That's where the that's where the grace is that wants to enter your heart and help you evolve into more self-realized you, sparkling, gorgeous, beautiful you. So many of us have more time to observe our patterns, to observe the interactions, to behold other people. And we're learning things. Let us please take action in ways that make us, yes, a little scared, but also bold -er. (laughs) because you're already bold. You're already strong. You're already amazing. So we'll just get a little more -er (laughs) on there. Okay, let's get a little more -er. (laughs) -er. I hope this message has been helpful to you today. Let's have some more tea. Did I even tell you I was having Irish breakfast tea today? And I am using coconut milk, canned coconut milk in there. The light coconut milk. This is kind of funny, but I um, sometimes have the groceries delivered on the Amazon subscription service. What's it called? Subscribe and save. And one day we got like a box of canned coconut milk. So you get 12 cans of coconut milk. And then the next day, another box of 12 arrived. And then the next day, another box of 12 arrived. And yeah, like every once in a while, something goes wonky with the subscribe and save. Or maybe it's just Robin who's placing the order doesn't understand but it was very funny so I'm just using the light coconut milk shaking it up really well and actually it's perfect so yes and I'd love you if this so far has been super helpful I'd love you to share this with a friend is there somebody in your life you could bring into the fold A lot of people tell me they don't like, they don't always feel comfortable sharing because they don't want people to think they're weird. (laughs) Well, that means you think I'm weird. If, and we're not, you know, if we're, if I'm weird and you're weird, then we're the good weird. That's all I can tell you. We're the good kind of weirdos. And share this on with somebody else who really is a secret weirdo. They just don't know it yet. Okay. (laughs) Support this work getting out there. um, If you see it somewhere online. And always I welcome your um, a donation, a financial, you know, your assistance that way or purchase a course to support the work. All of the links are here with the podcast. Um, Or you can go to robinhallett.com slash 86. Thank you. So inspiration today. You know, first I want to tell you, firstly, (laughs) firstly, I want to tell you, I was noticing for a lot of us, the busyness, it continues to be there. And busyness, like, you know, you're still working I I talked about this a bit last week, the busyness that continues to be there and the feeling of overwhelm sometimes and how important it is to allow yourself some time to rest. So I want to mention that again because it's very easy to be on your phone all day, on your tablet all day, on your computer all day, and then just sort of be on your TV at night and I, I recommend and suggest that you allow some time to rest and 
do it differently. Take out an old school book <laughs> and and read the paper pages um, and s- get out your art journal. Those of you who like to art journal and do something differently from what you always do. Um, a while back, I suggested some body tracings. I don't remember which episode that was, but you can trace your hands just like we did. We made little turkeys in school out of our hands. <laughs> trace your hands, trace your feet, trace your head. I have a beautiful image up on the blog right now of a tracing I did, and then I put my hands on it and my feet. Give yourself some space to do something different. Play a board game. Play a board game on Zoom with some friends, you know. Give yourself some space to do something differently than what you always do. This is a time to really, I'm sitting here going, jigger, juggle, juggernaut. (laughs) I don't know, but there's some jugger something word in there (laughs) to kind of juggle things up a little bit, jump I don't know, zhuzh it up. Let's just say to zhuzh, the, zhuzh it up, the things you normally do. Let's do it different. Even if it's just go watch Netflix in a different room today. <laughs> watch it on your tablet instead of on your TV. Do something differently than what you always do. Make different art, you know, rearrange something in your house. Change it up and see what happens for you. Powerful shifts can happen when we decide to do things differently. It opens up a new, I'm guessing, neural pathways even. Something changes. So make space for this time. Number one husband said to me last night, you know, I'm probably going to work late tonight. And I said, no, I try not to be this... uh, forceful with anybody in my life, but I got very bossy. And do you know that video of Diana Ross and the Supremes? Stop in the name of love. Yeah. But I would sing before you break your own heart, because you're not listening to your intuitive self that is saying, please do it differently. (laughs) You know, I said, no, play tonight or rearrange your space, or decorate. You know how it is. Guys like to decorate too. Hang some twinkle lights in the man cave. Am I right? (laughs) So let's do it differently and see what happens. Everything you do can have a little twist on it, and you will get some really beautiful sparkles from doing that. It will open you up to new possibilities. And that's what I want for you. That's what I want for me. So I hope that helps and inspires you. And always, I love to see what you're up to. Please tag me. If you share something, um, I want to know. I'm I'm Robin Hallett everywhere. So just tag me there and I love to see. Um, it's so much fun to see what you're doing. Cheers. Mm. So our letter this week is a is a beautiful one. You know, all of us, we're going through this time together now and things are changing. And sometimes that can be really scary change. The things we count on, the things we were expecting to be there, that they're not, that can be very scary. So this goes out to Roxanne and all of us here. Thank you so much for writing to me, for sharing your enthusiastic heart and pointing out some things that are really powerful thought points. So, and friends, I love to read your letters and I always need a letter or two. So please write to me at hello at robinhallett.com. I love to offer light and support here for you. And especially, like I always say, if you're here listening on the regular, I feel like that's the least I can do for you is to shine a light and offer some guidance, support you in this time especially. So please feel free. Hello at robinhallett.com or you can always message me on social media. 
Hi, Robin. I have been thinking about a topic I would love for you to address if you haven't already. There are a lot of mixed media teachers and artists like me who travel and teach art workshops around the world. For me, I have worked and put my heart into this part of my life for about 10 years. The live workshops and retreats are what inspire me and really get me motivated. I love the connection to other artists and to watch them create. To not have these to look forward to, plan and prepare for has been sad and really made me question my identity. I think some people feel this way after they retire and many, many people are feeling this now while sheltering at home, away from the people they care about and their work, some which has been their life's passion. Could you talk about this and finding your place in this great change? XO Roxanne. I thank you, Roxanne. This is the beauty of our love posse. You know, it doesn't always occur to me to talk about everything that's on the hearts and minds in our circle. And I appreciate so much you reaching out about that. It is, it's, it's, it is crazy. It is so important to allow ourselves every feeling we're feeling about that. Whether you had a big trip planned, Jeff and I were taking an Abraham cruise to to the Baltic Sea this summer. <laughs> you know, whether you had a big trip, some of you, I know a lot of you have big trips planned. Um, and first time workshops, for sure. A friend who just opened a physical studio right before this happened. It is so important to allow ourselves every feeling we're feeling about that and to even go beyond than just allowing what's here, you know, to explore our feelings around it. It is so important because otherwise we end up just holding our breaths and pasting it over on some level, you know, just trying to make it... Um, endure somehow just to get through somehow and this is that time of growth and expansion um, I would never speak for you Roxanne so I'll talk about me I can tell you that I got very comfortable with the way things were going and on some level there weren't there could be more challenges in my good, you know, inspiring, exciting challenges in my life that I wasn't really reaching for until my in-person healing practice kind of got taken off the table, <laughs> you know, and now I have to be thinking about what else might I love? What else might I love? And um, I'm still making my way through my sadness, my own sadness about it, my own wondering about it, my own, um, or even in terms of that trip I just mentioned, my own hesitancy, like, should I wait a little longer? I still have some time before the cancellation, you know, penalty is there and all that, you know, just keep thinking and wondering. So, First is we got to have a little room to feel our feels and to allow ourselves to appreciate, to behold all that we've done, all that we've gotten to do, all that we've experienced. Ha. Huh. And you know, you know what's wild? What just popped on my monitor, the screensaver came on. A picture of me and number one husband in Assisi standing outside the basilica. You know, I never question the timing of things when they happen, but that trip was a huge, expansive, never could have imagined we would have 
done something like that two years before. Never would have occurred to us, you know, a weekend away would have been just like the kind of thing for us and and all we could imagine. And um, that would have felt like a luxury. That would have felt like going beyond. Um, So I guess I'm saying never forget that there is always a moreness to the edge of, of your beauty and light and creativity and intuitive side that wants to express and explore and experience through you. So as we clear out some of our collective grief, as we express it and allow it to be and acclimate to, yeah, there probably will not be workshops for you this summer, right? You won't be hosting any workshops. You won't be attending any. Um, I used to love to go to the gem show, even that, like thinking about the gem show and I would go buy gemstones and um, things for making jewelry. I used to really love making jewelry and buy all these things and there won't be that or Jeff and I went to Comic-Con together in the fall and we had such a good time. (laughs) We had such a good, so glad we went, you know, probably won't be that. And we have to let ourselves express it and feel it. That's the first, I think, is we're not doing anything wrong. It's important. It's important. And it's equally important if you have friends that, um, I have reached out, well, again, I can't speak for you, my friend, but I'll speak for me. I've reached out to the clients that I no longer can see in person, the ones who come to my heart. I always rely on my intuition. I speak to the Holy Spirit. I say, tell me what you'd have me do. Because, you know, it's always a better ride when I'm going off my intuition. So I do reach out to people. I miss you. How are you? You know, um, I miss squeezing you in person. (laughs) We can't sit and have tea together in this special room. And I feel sad about that. I think it's a beautiful thing. So we might explore how we can be in touch with our communities um, and share a message of I'm processing how it's changed for us and I'm thinking of you and I'm thinking of me and I miss us. It's very different. I know how much we don't want to seem like negative or downers, you know, in this time. But that to me is such a beautiful thing to say, you matter to me. Do you know that song? You matter to me. Gorgeous duet. It's from the movie Waitress. Ah. Jason Mraz and Sarah Bareilles. That is such a beautiful song. Let people know you miss them and they matter to you. It's such a beautiful part to our rallying, um, rallying, keeping the rally going in our communities and our, our love, our circles. That's part of what I'm exploring doing morning lives now um, every day is just let's stay together. We don't know. We don't know how this will be. Um, And then so that's one piece. And then why not allow yourself to dream big? What would I love when the time is right for us to gather what would I love? And in the meantime, what would I love? Inspire me. Offer your greatest prayer. Inspire me. Show me the way. Show me how this can be. Let me know. A sense of purpose, a sense of excitement. You're right. It is so necessary. Um, 
to flourish. And again, I cannot speak for you, but there is something to doing the same things, even though it's exciting, uh, even though it is wonderful and it's fun to see what people are creating. This is an opportunity for us to do something completely different and Just like I bet what you love in creating art, I know for me too, I'm looking at my table over there and I've got some new projects started. You just never know what you're going to get, how it's going to turn out. And let's let this time be just as exciting in the mind. How would we love this to go? What else could we be doing? Mostly, my friend, I thank you for your service in the world, for your heart and your inspiration and the beauty you do have continue to bring and you have brought. And this is also a time to allow yourself to reflect and receive. I can notice for me sometimes when I look back on all the things I've done, the retreats, the classes, the online classes, the offline classes, the monthly events in yoga studios, my first impulse is to feel sad. My next impulse is to be hard on myself about what is no longer happening. But what my practiced impulse is, is to allow myself to to gratefully appreciate, to receive the beauty and to say, I am so glad I loved what I loved while I could love it, while I could be in that studio, while I could help a student do this thing, while I could hold hands with this person, while I could, you know, I think about my healing table now, And I'm so appreciative of every single person I have held here. And I'm not going to decide what the future will hold, but I'm going to hold spacious presence for it to unfold. (laughs) I did just rhyme that, did I not? (laughs) So, you know, truly from my heart, I hope this inspires you or helps you, dear Roxanne, and anybody else who connects to this message today. Let's stay open for what wants to unfold because I know there is something here, something greater than we can imagine or anticipate. And, you know, let's say a prayer together now if that feels right to you. I've got a candle right here. Old school matches for the win. Okay. Let us quiet our hearts. (laughs) Let us quiet and take a breath together. Let us be easy now. I call on the angels, the guides, and the ancestors in this love posse. Gather with us, and thank you for gathering with us. Inspire us of the possibilities yet to come, the avenues yet unexplored. Help us to know the possibilities in this time. Let us explore courageously our creativity with the heart and sparkle of our inner child. And I request a most delightful and wonderful outcome for each of us here. Thank you so much for guiding us. May we hear your messages even more clearly 
and thank you so much for this posse gathered today for our love posse and for the one who inspired this time now Roxanne and so it is thank you and a ho <laughs> and a hoy and thank you thank you thank you amen so may that help may that support and I can't wait to hear what takes place. I can't wait. I can't wait. I Because I know it. I know it's coming. I know it's coming. Well, friends, beauty awaits. The rest of today, whatever you're doing, enjoy your time. Make space for you. Let yourself relax. Sip some tea. Listen to some music. Read some poetry. You know, it's your oyster now, baby. It really is. You are the pearl. What do you want to do with this day? This has been me, Robin, awesome heart sparkle sauce Hallett. <laughs> I'm going to see you here next week um, or in a few minutes. And I really invite you to join me on the lives. They or the replays. They're all up on YouTube really such a powerful time. Lots of lots of love. Bye-bye. Life is very short. Let's make the very most of it. You are a precious gem and I love you. Do, 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 do. are here to shine and shine bright you are a gem and i love you do, 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 do. life is precious and you are a spark of the divine so shine like you know it rock it like you mean it cause you really really mean it and mean it and mean it and mean it and mean it tell you that you aren't sparkly cause you are cause you are cause you are thank you I like that I love it honey thank you give me a kiss